Osteoarthritis of the knee is one of the most common causes of musculoskeletal pain and disability in the entire world. This condition affects nearly one out of every four people on the planet who are over the age of 40, and the incidence is rising. Now, it goes without saying that there are multiple factors involved in the development of osteoarthritis, but when it comes to the knee specifically, there's a significant body of evidence demonstrating that dysfunctional feet could be a major contributor to these types of problems. So just take a look at this systematic review and meta-analysis from 2021. These researchers looked at 39 different studies on the foot characteristics and mechanics of people with knee osteoarthritis. And what they found is that these people are way more likely to have a pronated foot posture. And for those of you that aren't familiar with that terminology, it means that the medial longitudinal arch, the arch that runs along the inside edge of the foot, has failed and the arch has flattened out, which allows that foot to kind of bulge inward. The ankle tends to follow suit and it also collapses medially like you see in the images here. Now, other studies have demonstrated that people with knee osteoarthritis don't just have structural problems in their feet, they have functional problems too, like mobility deficits and decreased muscle strength in the intrinsic muscles of the foot, the muscles that are responsible for holding the arches up and maintaining normal foot alignment. A reduction in the height of that medial longitudinal arch followed by the inward collapse of the foot and the ankle is absolutely devastating for the knee. Not only does this alteration in alignment destabilize the entire structure, but it alters the normal movement mechanics of the joint. It prevents the knee from moving the way that it's supposed to. And this significantly increases the strain on all of the tissues in and around that joint, including the ligaments, the medial and the lateral meniscus, and the cartilaginous surfaces, not to mention the surrounding musculature. All of this means that people who have this type of foot posture have a much higher risk for all types of knee problems. Keeping that in mind, what I wanna show you now are two simple exercises that can help you to reduce the strain on your knees by increasing the height of that medial longitudinal arch and restoring a more normal posture and alignment to your feet and ankles. Exercise number one is single leg balancing with a twist. To perform this exercise, all you need to do is stand on one foot with your arms crossed across your chest in a nice tall upright posture and hold for one minute. But the key to this exercise is the position that you keep your down foot in. And the position that we're looking for in that down foot is achieved via a process known as doming. So to dome the foot, you'll start off in your normal stance, barefoot with your foot flat against the floor. And what we're looking to do from there is to pull the arch as high as we possibly can up to the ceiling by driving the big toe and the forefoot into the floor. And you'll see there, it arches the foot and creates a dome shape, just like that. And then once you're in that position, you're gonna bring your opposite leg up off the floor, cross the arms across the chest, and then hold for 60 seconds. And the second exercise is an ultra slow tempoed heel raise. This exercise is exactly what it sounds like, not complicated at all. But when you're first starting out with it, I strongly recommend positioning yourself close to a wall or having a really sturdy chair or table right in front of you so that you can reach out if you need, just with light fingertip contact, to give yourself a little bit of extra support and stability. Once you've got that, you're gonna come up onto one foot just like this, and then you're gonna slowly elevate the down heel off of the floor, taking six full seconds to get to the peak position. So here's what that looks like, one. Two, three, four, five, six. From the peak, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six seconds up, six seconds down. 12 seconds in total for each repetition. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna perform five repetitions in total on one foot for 60 seconds of continuous time under tension. Then you'll switch over to the opposite side and repeat. The goal here is to slowly build up to the point where you can perform three rounds of each of these exercises on each leg 
three times per week. It's important that you guys know that the exercises, sets, and repetitions used in this routine weren't just conjured out of thin air. It's literally the exact same routine that was used in a study that was published back in 2004, where the researcher demonstrated a 22% improvement in arch height after just six weeks of following this routine. The exercises used here are also similar to the ones used in a study that was published just last year in the Brazilian Journal of Physical Therapy. These researchers demonstrated reductions in pain and improvements in physical functionality in people with osteoarthritis of the knee after an eight-week foot and ankle strengthening program. Aside from the proven efficacy of these exercises, I think that one of the best things about this routine is that it provides a much needed and highly accessible alternative for people suffering with osteoarthritis of the knee. And because the adherence to the traditional rehabilitation programs is super low, in fact, only 13 to 48 percent of osteoarthritis sufferers actually follow through on these programs and perform the exercises. And the reason for that is not because the exercises don't work. It's because the people try the exercises and it increases their knee pain or just looking at the exercises scares them off. And so it's my hope that by demonstrating a routine like this that places minimal strain on the knees, that it provides one more option for osteoarthritis sufferers to improve their functionality and reduce their pain. So that's going to do it for this week. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content about how osteoarthritis sufferers can help themselves, drop me a line with the region of the body that you're interested in most in the comments down below. Beyond that, I just want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button before you head out of here, and I'll see you next time.